hi you guys welcome to my channel my name is amore love and today i'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine for box braids so far it's been about two and a half weeks since i've washed my box braids and this is how they're looking i basically crinkled my braids you guys can see a full tutorial on that if you're wondering how i got my <laughs> box braids crimped that is how i'll leave the link in the description below Firstly, I'm just going to start off by rinsing my hair extremely, 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 extremely well. <laughs> I say that so many times because it's so important to rinse your hair thoroughly before applying the shampoo. Because when you rinse your hair thoroughly, the shampoo can get in there and do what it's really meant to do the first time, even though we are going to be washing our hair two times today. Rinsing it thoroughly really is going to help the shampoo do what it needs to do the first time. So I'm making sure I'm really rinsing my roots, the top portion of my hair, and really making sure to get all of that old debris rinsed out as much as I can before applying the shampoo. The shampoo that I'm going to be using today is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Shampoo. This is absolutely amazing and it's super affordable and it gets your hair super, super clean without stripping your hair too much, which I really love. And it smells amazing. Did I say that already? <laughs> so basically, I'm going to start by putting the shampoo all over my root area first, just just making sure that I get all of my roots and my scalp fully saturated with shampoo just so that I can make sure that I get a really good lather because we are washing braids and braids are a lot different than washing your natural hair in its natural state. <laughs> so you have to be very liberal with the shampoo. And also because we're wearing box braids, you wanna be very gentle when scrubbing your scalp. No fingernails, do not use any fingernails, period. Just use the balls of your fingers and massage your scalp in circular motions to loosen up all that debris that's been caught in the workings of the braid. Once you get a good enough lather, you're really going to make sure you're squeezing and rubbing all throughout the braids just because, like I said, we are wearing braids. So we want to make sure our shampoo process is going to be as thorough as possible. So I like to use a lot of shampoo when I have braids just so that we make sure that this stuff is clean very very clean so i'm just using my the balls of my fingers in circular motions and i'm not pulling on the braids too much i'm not call, causing friction and i'm really making sure that overall i'm being gentle but thorough because your hair is tied up and constricted in these braids so so you don't want to cause too much friction by being super rough when scrubbing your scalp because this can cause extra breakage and nobody wants breakage girl so be gentle and be thorough take your time if you have to but as you can see this is very lather up and i'm being very gentle around my edges because we all love our edges okay these are our most prized possessions so i'm just making sure to massage them softly in a circular motion because i do lay my edges down with edge control and i know a lot of edge control can get stuck at the top of the braid and that's not good so so just paying special attention to that now i'm going to begin rinsing and and it rinses out really really easy all you have to do is rinse in a downward motion and make sure you're rinsing everything out as thorough as possible because you don't want any shampoo left in your hair especially because that can cause extra drying and nobody wants extra dried hair so be sure to rinse as thorough as possible in a downward motion now that we're all done with the first wash we are going to do it again for a second time yes a second time because it's been two and a half weeks since i washed my hair and these are braids so you want to make sure you're being thorough as possible the word of the day is thorough okay <laughs> be thorough you see how much soap that is you see how much suds that is you see how much work i'm doing be thorough Next, we're going in with the Pure Clean Garnier Fructis Conditioner. This is the follow-up conditioner. It's the same as the shampoo. And with this, we're not going to do it like the shampoo. I basically just skip the knots of where the braid begins at my roots because I don't want too much product build up in that area because I know when taking down braids, that part can cause a lot of tangling when there's 
anyway we'll get there when i start taking out my braids be sure you're subscribed because i'm going to give a tutorial on the best way to take out your box braids but anyways the main point is don't apply it in the roots where the braid is attached to the hair at the top just apply it in the mids and ends and really squeeze your braids and make sure the conditioner is really getting all up in your hair the main reason why i'm doing it just on the mids and ends of my natural hair is because for one this is synthetic hair so you do not need to condition it but my natural hair is braided within this and my natural hair goes way past my shoulders so i'm just making sure i'm conditioning my hair so that it's not dry in these braids the whole time i have them in and when i rinse these out i don't rinse them thoroughly i basically just lightly run my head under the water and as soon as the water starts slightly running clear then i basically just stop i like to leave a little tiny tiny bit of conditioner in my hair and then that's just that on that <laughs> so after i'm done rinsing the conditioner out i basically just tie my hair up in a towel and then this is major key if you don't take nothing else from this video listen to this part some of y'all is out there with braids that smell like oh dirty wet washcloth okay stop going to sleep with wet braids <laughs> make sure you dry your braids i'm using my babyless pro hood dryer to do this this is very important some of y'all braids stank and it's just very sad and i'm tired of smelling old dirty washcloth stank braids <laughs> So make sure you at least dry them with a blow dryer or at least if you're going out and about, that's fine. You know, just don't go to sleep with wet braids, okay? Don't put your hair in a ponytail if you have wet braids either because dark, wet places is a breeding ground for mold and that old, dirty, wet washcloth smell is mold growing in your hair. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm just letting you know. Dry your braids. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Please subscribe and let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.